Hey guys, it's Rebecca J. Welcome to an episode of Tone and Talk. So I haven't always loved health and fitness nearly as much as I love eating. <laughs> But I understand the value of being healthy and living right. Um, and so I've invested in a home gym. And so here I finally got this Force USA G15 machine. It has everything. I mean, like it is, it is stocked up with everything, every single workout. I think it's, it said something like 400 different exercises at home in just this little machine, in this little space. And I'm so happy to have it. So I'm gonna test it out with you guys today. Um, first, we're gonna start off with forward lunges. Forward squat lunges. I don't know what you'll call them, but you're gonna see how I do it. And um, this workout is going to focus on our bottom half, so legs, glutes. Uh, yeah, so here we go. You're going to need 45 pound uh, plate for your for your feet and two 10 pounds on the side or you know, whatever you need. So for me, I got my 10s because I'm not there yet. Okay, guys. <laughs> so we're going to Squat up underneath the bar, put it on your neck. We're gonna start with both feet on the 45 pounds, okay? And you wanna leave the circle in the middle open, okay? And then you're gonna lunge back and kick. There you go. Try to do these 10 times, or not 10 times, three times for 10 reps. Yeah, reps. And try to get as low as you can, you know? Ooh. I felt the burn. Ooh. Okay, and then you switch. And you're gonna do that again 10 times. So the reason this is called Tone and Talk is because I like to tone up, but I also like to talk. And today what I'd like to talk about is aliens. And are they real? So I'm from Miami, I live in Miami, and recently there was a story that went viral on TikTok and all over Instagram that there were 12 foot aliens, multiple 12 foot aliens at Bayside Mall. Do you know how tall, like how big 12 feet high is? That's like, that's almost three of me. That's two and a half of me. That's crazy. That's really dumb tall. And there were multiple creatures at the mall that a bunch of people saw. So much so that the entire Miami force, police force had to drive over there and, you know, check things out. From what I heard, these police officers were supposedly telling people to give them their phones and they were erasing footage, supposedly. In the age of the internet, I highly doubt no one got any footage. So the fact that there's nothing that we can see makes me feel like it was a hoax. But I do believe in aliens. I seriously believe in aliens because what are the chances that we are the only living species in the universe? That we're the only people, the, an the animals that we have here and the people that we have here and the birds and the reptiles, this is it? I don't think so. I highly doubt it. I mean, there's like billions of galaxies and in even more universes, like there's no way that we're the only ones. I mean, we'll never know, but I don't know. I feel like there's aliens 
Do I think that they've been here? I don't know. I, I don't, I can't say. I've never seen an alien, obviously. I mean, I do know a couple people I'm suspicious of, but I've never met an alien, confirmed alien. Um, but yeah, they're out there for sure. I just don't know that they're here. I don't even know that they've ever really, like think about how long it takes to get from here to Mars. I think they said something like three months just to get to Mars. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a scientist. If you know how long it takes to get from here to Mars, comment below, let me know. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it, it's a stretch. I do think that the government knows more than we know, obviously. They probably encountered some uh, aliens, but whatever. I love outer space. I think outer space is so like mysterious. I love anything mysterious. This is probably why I have such bad luck with men. Um, but the universe is so mysterious. There's just so much out there and I just don't, I just don't believe that we're the only ones here. And I really don't want to believe that either. Like this planet, it, it kind of feels like it's coming to an end. It's like wrapping up. And um, I hope that we find somewhere else to like terraform before it's all over. Um, maybe Mars. If you got picked to go to Mars and live there, like in the beginning stages, would you do it? Let me know. Okay guys, so this is another exercise I like. I'm terrible with names, I need you to know this. I have no idea what this exercise is called, but it's a thing, I promise. It's a thing. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna start off with, you could do heavier weights if you want. I'm gonna do 20s. Um, I usually do 30s, but I worked out this morning, so, you know. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our feet together. You're gonna grab your weight. And then the opposite leg to the one you have the weight in, you're gonna go like this. Keep your knees together, okay? And then you're gonna keep the weight as close as you can to your leg all the way down. And then you're gonna come back up and you're gonna keep doing that for 10 reps. Your hand should be touching your leg. The weight should be touching your leg the whole way down. And right here, you're gonna work out your lower back as well as your legs and your glutes. There you go. Keep your core tight and the weight close to your leg. Perfect. And then repeat on the opposite leg. Let me show you what it looks like from the back. All right, so again, you're gonna hold the weight, keep your legs closed. Knees together and bring the weight down and pop back up. Remembering to keep the weight as close as you can to your leg the whole time. Grazing your leg basically. There you go. And that's it. Do that three times, three sets of 10. You'll thank me later. So let's keep talking about these so-called aliens. Okay, so all throughout history, you have these stories of people recorded 
um, that have seen aliens, okay? Like, I think there's, I don't know which artist it was. Maybe it was like Picasso. No, it wasn't Picasso. Picasso was too, too recent. Um, I don't know, maybe it was Da Vinci. But there's paintings of aliens in the back of his like portraits. Is it Da Vinci? I hope it's Da Vinci. If it's not, and you know, you know what to do. Comment, fix, fix my, my incorrections if you please. Um, but yeah, and it's like these people in like flying saucers. These are old paintings from like, I don't know when, the 1500s or 1800s, I don't know, a long time ago. And they have the same like description of aliens that we do today. In Italy, there was a lady that back in like the 50s was recorded as someone that has seen aliens. And she said that as a child, there was a flying saucer that came down to her and it was like these angelic, you know, beings that would like telepathically tell her the future. I thought, that's crazy. And there's still more reports of people that say the same exact thing. So my thing is, okay, hear me out. This is just my theory. Aliens are what people today believe are angels, right? So like back before all of this information that we have now today, people didn't have like, they weren't as smart as, I don't wanna say, but yeah, they weren't as smart as we are today. They don't know the things that we know today. So wouldn't it be possible for them to you know, name aliens angels, right? Because they have no they had no concept of outer space. They thought it was heaven, and if they thought it was heaven, and something is coming down from heaven, maybe they thought they were angels, you know? But really, they were aliens this whole entire time. I don't know. I don't know. So that's it for Tone and Talk. Let me know what you think about my episode on aliens. Um, and do you believe in aliens? And have you ever had an encounter with an alien? I wanna know your stories. Also, what do you wanna see for the next episode? I really love giving you guys my opinions and we'll keep working out together. See you next time, bye.